Hello everybody. I hope all of you great moms had a wonderful Mother's Day out there. Um, well, I had a really sad weekend. This is like the uh, third time I've sat down and tried to record this video. So, I wasn't going to talk about it because I didn't want to bring you guys down, but there's some very interesting points to make upon this subject. But not five minutes after I finished the uh, Friday video, I got a phone call from the ex-wife um, that uh, my daughter's and I's dog, Ashley the Wonderbutt, some of you may remember her, um, had passed away. So, I'm not going to get too many details about that because that definitely depress you a little more and I don't want to get angry again about that, but, um, but yes, we lost Ashley. So she was a great and wonderful dog. We had her for a good 10 years. Um, and so I've been dealing with, uh, some depression this weekend about that because, uh, she was a wonderful, wonderful animal and wonderful part of the family. And, of course, you know, along with some depression, I was dealing with some emotional eating this weekend. You know, I really just wanted to order a pizza and just sit there and cry and eat a pizza, but I didn't. I ate a lot of bananas this weekend. Um, I wanted coffee. Never did any coffee, but... But, yeah, just dealing with that and the sadness of that. But you know what I realized from her death? Um, that we could all be a little more like a dog. Because dogs are such wonderful pets and pieces of our parts of our family. That if we were just more like dogs, the world would be such a better place. You know, a dog at least Ashley, if you wanted to sit down and love on her, she would sit there and let you love on her as long as you wanted to love on her. Just unconditionally just give you love right back. You know? And just, you know, not ask anything from a return or just just sit there and let you love on them. I mean, that, that, that was something that was awesome about her. Um... And, you know, as far as, like, physical activity, uh, she'd go there again. You know, she always wanted to play. Um, she loved playing catch the ball. She loved to play frisbee. Um, I remember the one weekend uh, my daughter was here, and Madison took her outside. It was a couple of years ago. I Probably when Madison was, like, 10 or 11. And Madison was like, I'm going to go outside and see when she'll stop. And she threw the ball and threw the frisbee and threw the ball and threw the frisbee. And about 30 or 40 minutes later, Madison and the dog comes walking back in the door. And Maddie's like, I give up. My elbow hurts. <laughs> I hurt my arm, Dad. And Ashley threw up twice. <laughs> and Ashley goes and gets a big old drink of water. Walks back in the living room, throws up on the floor, and then picks up another ball. Like, hey, let's go. <laughs> so, you know, as far as, like, physical activity, she never wanted to quit, you know? I mean, think about it. If we, uh, if we worked out and played it that hard until we threw up, <laughs> imagine the shape we'd be in by then. You know, but she never, she never would stop. So... The most important thing that made me a realization, you know, animals really don't have a sense of their own deaths, you know. They, you know, they may be afraid of, like, imminent danger, you know. A bear jumps out of a bush, rah, you know, like that. Yeah, that scares them. But each day they don't run around like we do fearing our own deaths, you know. Um, maybe that's why I'm 
pushing myself so hard to uh, finish the Raw Hero journey and and try and do something amazing to show all you guys and you know try to make an impact you know because I'm fearing my own mortality at the age of 40 that's why that's why I started this whole oh I better change my life or I'm gonna die I mean yeah that's exactly what it is but do dogs really walk around each day going okay when's it all gonna end you know well I lived a good life might as well just ah. no they're happy go lucky they don't even think about death you know, they just enjoy their lives and live each moment without a fear of death. And, and that's something we should all try and do. I mean, it's, it's really neat when you really think about an animal's life. You know, they don't worry about material things or death, you know. When am I going to get love? When am I going to get played with? When am I going to get some food? You know, that's, that's, that's it. You know? So, you know, a dog's life is something that is special and something we could, we could learn a little from. You know? Um, I don't know if this makes any sense to anybody. If you're not an animal lover, then you probably won't get it at all. But... You know, and I picked up a book, um, I left it upstairs, darn it, um, that I haven't read in a long time. It's a small little book, uh, it's written a long time ago by, um, oh, what is his name? I've said it a hundred times, William H. Danforth, the guy who actually started the Perina, Ch Perina Chow Company. It's a book called I Dare You, you know, and in it, you know... It's about daring you to do more and be more and, you know, having a complete squared life. Because it go, you know, it's kind of the whole philosophy behind the Perina Chow uh, logo. But it's a little outdated because, you know, he talks, it's written back in the day and, you know, a lot of turn of the century type terms and stories and whatnot. But daring to be more, you know. Um, pushing ourselves, being more, just not settling for simplicity and just a humdrum life, you know, daring the weak to become strong, daring the sick to become healthy, and that's kind of what we're doing here, you know, not only just me, but all of you that watch the videos, um, you know, in the Raw Hero journey, I, I, I don't want to do it alone. I, I'm not striving to be the the supreme commander with my alarm of of you to the vegan raw food world, you know, and stand atop the mountain all by myself. No, I want to pull as many people up to the top alongside me, with me, as I can. I don't want to be the only raw hero. I want to bring as many people who want to transform their lives along with me. So, but anyways, I just finally needed to get this video out, and I, I hope it didn't bring you guys down. Um, something I've been dealing with. I gotta say thanks to Nathan. He's been a true, true friend, a really good friend, and I'm honored to have him as a friend. He's helped me a lot this weekend. We've talked a lot this weekend. So, but, um, actually it'll be missed. It's been a, it's been a kind of a rough weekend. So, felt like I needed to talk about this with you guys and let you guys know. I mean, it's something I've dealt with. It's, you know, chronicle of my journey and it's been a big part of my journey, a big part of my life. And it was, it was kind of a rough weekend. So, um. But anyways, you guys have a wonderful Monday, and we'll talk more tomorrow.